Okay, I hope this looks and sounds a lot better. Last week when I was talking about the whole Gabby Douglas thing, um, the quality was just like, oh. <laughs> but for those of you that do not know, I just got a new camera and I'm still getting used to it. So thank y'all for bearing with me, but I was not finna put out like two bad videos like two weeks in a row, like no. Anyways, welcome back to your favorite random girl on the internet. Today I'm doing something that I haven't done in close to a month now and that's a let's talk about it. I am going to talk about how to cope post-grad, um, you know, post-grad blues for college and high schoolers. I wanted to kind of wait till it was like a little deeper in June to do this video because I know high schoolers had to graduate too. But for those of you that do not know, I just graduated college so I am kind of going through and working through those post-grad blues and I just kind of wanted to share like what I've been feeling and what has helped and things like that because there really is no other thing to really compare to it besides maybe grief but yeah it's a very unique feeling so for me my high school post-grad feeling was very very different from most people's because that was during the pandemic i graduated high school back in 2020 and i just graduated college um about a month ago with a ba in psychology right and honestly like the weirdest thing about it is the fact that you really do feel like you blinked because i swear i was just like seven yesterday and when you like say like when i grow up or when i graduate college or whatever and then it like actually happens and you're actually living it it doesn't like feel real and so yeah that was one of the like things that I kind of had to wrap my head around is that I just graduated college and that's still even now like saying it out loud still doesn't even make it feel real like it's still like I don't know if I'm numb to it or what but the emotions all of that wrapped into it I it's just hard to like comprehend and let alone like cope so yeah one of the main things that got me was like just the shock of it all and I think the shock is what just kind of numbed everything else like all the emotions are still there but you don't even like know what they are whether it's college or high school you're extremely proud of yourself yet you're also like sad yeah you're also like like glad and happy and it's just I don't even know another thing that comes along post-grad that you probably never had to deal with before at this point in your life was the fact that all your friends are gone I mean like you don't you don't lose your friends like just like not being friends friends with them anymore but um, whether it's college or high school your friends they go to a different college than you they um, just move out of state and like these people that, that you've either grown up with or that you've been with for the past four years and sometimes they don't even say bye which is, and that part really really does suck and it's not even like on purpose but I know like for college like a lot of people they literally had to either start um, summer school or move back home or even start their new job like that week or the next week so a lot of people left literally right after graduation and I don't even know the next time I'm gonna see them so like it's not even that oh nobody says bye but sometimes like you just don't even have enough time to even say bye to your friends so like that was probably I'm gonna try not to cry that was probably like the worst part dealing with um like graduation and coping with that was the fact that like there are some people that um I have I literally have not seen I know it was only a month ago at this point Point, but I know I'm not going to see them for a long time and the last time that I saw them was at graduation like there was um, one of my friends who she was like one of my best friends she graduated with she was a double major and um, she's moving to New Jersey and we had oh my god I'm not gonna cry We had um, sh a lot of classes together, so, you know, we became, like, pretty much the bestest friends. We went to, like, football games and stuff together. I made a point to, like, I told her to meet me or wait for me when we walked out, right? And so um, she waited for me out in the hallway, and then as soon as, like, we walked, like, outside to, like, see our families, we made sure we took a picture real quick, and then we, we just lost each other. We lost each other in the crowd. And I don't know when's the next time I'm going to see her. You know what I mean? Y'all, I actually had to cut the camera because I had to cry for a little second. But yeah, it's stuff like that. Like, you don't know when you're going to see your friends again. Like, sometimes, like, you just leave. Don't really get to say goodbyes. And that's probably the biggest chunk of graduation blues that is hardest to deal with, right? Because that's why I said, like, the only thing that's closest to it is maybe grief. But, like, they're not dead. The next thing I would say is how you the operation of your life is just like completely different 
So what you're used to and all that you know is like you wake up every single morning, you go to school every single day, five days out the week, 10 months out the year for 18 whatever years of your life. So it's like, what else do you do? Summer like kind of doesn't feel the same anymore because the sum this summer is like kind of the first summer of a new life you know what i mean i'm used to just having stuff due at a certain time i'm used to just having homework i'm used to like just actually just doing work like when i open my computer now and i don't have like any work and i'm actually just like on my computer it doesn't really feel the same because it's almost like not like your purpose in life because your purpose in life is not to be in school to the day that you die a part of who I guess who you are is kind of morphing into something else on its own like and like kind of like by your direction but still kind of on its own and so it's like what do you even do with that so it's kind of hard to even like fathom that the whole schedule of your life is just not a thing anymore the whole every day five days out the week ten months out the year now done that's like Finito, unless like you're going to college or you're going to grad school or whatever and but still like that part is just done so like what like how do you even fathom that and so the way that I've been dealing with it honestly I don't know if this is like the healthiest way but I kind of been staying like in that mindset not because like I'm afraid to grow but because I feel like that foundation can still kind of help me like throughout life so like whenever like I'm doing stuff like I will actually tell myself <laughs> tell myself that it's due on this day whatever like washing clothes is due by Saturday or like I still kind of operate that way because you know I've been conditioned to think that way since I was three so um I still kind of like have myself in like the school kind of mode we just have to be honest like it did kind of keep us grounded at least so now that that's gone like how do you ground yourself how do you make your own schedule like how do you like make sure you're still like just not oh because school's over and like a now what feeling you don't want to have to feel that now what feeling even though you probably do like inevitably because like you really don't know what's next even if you are going to college or grad school you don't know how this next part of your life is going to look because you've never done it so honestly the most annoying thing about being a graduate is the fact that you have so many people in your face asking you the same question which is what are you doing now what's next da 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 and it's just it's too much sometimes because like you just had to do all the stuff up until graduation planning your pictures sending out invitations and announcements and things like that and then like you literally just graduated two seconds ago and now you have so many people in your face just asking you so many questions that you do not have the answer to or maybe you do but um some people don't and honestly i would say the way to deal with the whole what's next feeling and the what next question is um well honestly i'm a graduate myself so i don't even know if i'm qualified to give this kind of advice because i'm feeling the exact same feelings that i'm talking about right now but uh, what i can tell you what i have been doing up until this point so for the whole like what's next question like i just tell people like i am still searching in blank field right um trying to find something that fits me you know i am doing this like what are whether this being like looking on linkedin or just emailing people you know so to put that all together like i am looking in the sports journalist field i've been emailing you know football teams and stuff like that to try to see if i can get some kind of internship with them to maybe get some practice at being a sports journalist before I go back to get my master's for journalism. Boom. That's I would say something like that if you're struggling with that. And the whole what's next feeling, like I just said, like it just has to be day by day. It is very scary. There's not really like a cure for like I don't know what's next type feeling because like nobody really does even if you are like in a kind of safe area of your life where like oh you have a job or you're still in school so you know what tomorrow is going to look like but even still like in that you still have to have a take a day by day type mindset so 
yeah that's what i would say like just kind of phrase a question like that this is what i'm looking around in and even if you don't know what kind of field that you want to go into just say something like you know right now i'm just trying to enjoy the fact that i just graduated and just suck in this moment like just something like that because at the end of the day like it is your life and you don't really owe anybody any answers about like what you're doing next you know because it really is annoying when people ask that like over and over and over again especially when you don't have an answer like even if you do have an answer the same question over and over again is still annoying but those people out there who don't have the answer for that kind of question really just tell them that you know you're just still trying to suck in the moment because i'm a month a month post-grad and i still am in shock still you would think it would hit you a day or two after no it doesn't not for me it doesn't maybe because it has something to do with the fact that i didn't have a real high school graduation it was literally in a freaking parking lot but um yeah college is a lot bigger than high school and when you take high school away and you combine that i mean i don't i, I just still don't feel it okay that's the point i, I don't feel it yet so especially for people graduating high school if you just graduate like last week or the weekend before that and you don't feel it yet like do not feel bad because it's a lot to process it's such a huge emotion that nothing can really compare to now lastly before i close out this video i did just want to say that just celebrate yourself in this moment as much as you can because you're probably going to blink and you'll be in a whole nother phase of your life and you'll be like wow just yesterday i graduated high school or yesterday i graduated college so really suck it in and celebrate yourself be proud of yourself because you just did a really big thing and some people don't do that thing some people don't graduate high school some people don't graduate college so the fact that you did is a big deal and don't let anybody take that away from you okay like it is a big deal so you can be as loud as you want you can celebrate as long as you want you can talk about it as much as you want don't let anybody tell you how to celebrate yourself okay so i just want to put that in there for sure it's just try to make it like joyous because it is it is joyous okay like i know your friends leaving really sucks like that's sad and not knowing what you're going to do next that sucks but all in all like when you put it all together it really is a happy thing okay so like don't forget that part when you're coping and it's like all the stuff that isn't really fun just kind of settles in and then you feel sad but then just try to remember that oh my gosh I did this big thing and like think about all the memories that you made and yeah like that really is how life goes because you're gonna have another milestone and then another and then another and then another and you're just gonna have to look back and be like oh wow like I cannot believe I did that that happened so fast or that was so cool or I am so strong and things like that right so yeah just try to remember definitely remember that above all when you're coping above all you did something really really big okay so that is it that's all i have today um i kind of had this idea like around the time when i was graduating and i knew i needed to make a video with my little ba in psychology <laughs> oh my goodness y'all also i actually milk your stuff like you need to be like y'all got a degree now yeah i do think i know everything well like, like don't like be smart about it but you know just kind of joke about it here and there like yeah i gotta be in psychology and what but um yeah so i just wanted to come on here and do that because i know there's people out there that probably needed to hear this and i it's it's not a feeling that compares to anything like i've said like 10 times now so yeah if i can help somebody even if it's just one person that would be amazing but before i go one little small tiny announcement i am going on a cruise at the end of the month so yes i'm very excited so i will be gone for a little bit of time i will be back next week of course but i'm not leaving until today is um i don't know what today is today is june 17th okay and i'm leaving the 28th okay i'm going to florida for a cruise well we're leaving for from florida and then we are going to be gone for a whole week okay so i'm still contemplating if i'm going to bring my brand new camera that i'm still getting used to using on the boat i don't know yet because that would be really cool to vlog a little vacation vlog i've never done one before um and i'm also contemplating if i want to do a haul because i brought a lot of of new clothes and a lot of new bathing suits so if y'all want to see either or or both please let me know because I do want to grow as a content creation or a content creator sorry and you know doing like different types of video like that would really be fun so you know hauls and vlogs and stuff like that so just let me know if that's what you want to see but yeah I just want to let y'all know ahead of time um, that I will be gone and not quite yet but coming up soon so 
yeah but until then y'all let me know if you want to see a vlog or haul but until then see y'all later Thank <laughs> you.